Hello Scorpios, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. This is for your reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. I hope that you're on a good pathway to a new place and new dreams and new goals um, and following what makes you happy, Scorpio. Okay. Advice for today is to put yourself first and to always put your needs in the way of your own happiness before anyone. Okay. Sometimes we often worry about what everybody else wants and we forget about ourselves. So always, you know, balance it out, of course, but make sure you are being fulfilled and reciprocated. All right, I'm going to get one more Scorpio for Scorpios. This is your Oracle cards. Well, they gave me two more, <laughs> so we have to take it. All right, Scorpio. So you have the cards of the power and where does the power come from? It comes from within. Okay, so this is definitely about live, living your best life here. Life is great. Big canvas thrown all over the paint. You can do it. Okay, so whatever you want to build in your life. Uh, you remember this whole year is about creating memories, cre creating um, journeys and for yourself. Healing, but enjoying life too, Scorpio. Don't forget to live. Your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. So your goals are what you want, Scorpio. we got to stop worrying about what everybody else wants, all right? Sometimes the strongest people got this other day. Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cry at night. Because we always, as Scorpios, always thinking about other people, what they want, what they need. Uh, love them too much and they don't give it back. So, um... Just think about that, okay? I felt like I had a card that just went somewhere. So, maybe not. So, okay. So, let's get into our tarot here, Scorpio. Could that's your advice to kind of give you, keep your heads up and live in your best life. And, um, so anyway. So, let's get into our reading here, Scorpio. For Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What is Scorpio's, what does the angels want to tell Scorpio's? Show them the cards, please. All right. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. If you have not taken a look at my other videos, please do so. That may help you resonate with you. I'm here to spiritually guide you, but... It is your free will, Scorpio, right? So you choose what you want what's best for you. I don't know all the Scorpios in the world. I can, this is a collective read. If you like a personal reading to your own situation, then uh, reach out to me. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what this Ace of Cups in reverse. Ooh, who are you upset with? You don't want their love back. Hmm. So some red flags and something that's not going on with high priestess here. What is that? There's something that was a warning you. Ace of Swords. Okay. All right. Let's see what this is about, Scorpio. Let me get into the connection here. Okay. Now, as I've said up here, you're you're keeping your focus on yourself. Okay, as always, we always keep our focus on ourselves. Scorpio, I see here that with the eight of, and that's your main energy here to working for your goals, okay? So that's what it is. We're working towards our goals. You might have some setbacks over here to um, put you, maybe set you back, uh, work on your money. What you want to do, Scorpio, remember the focus is you. But going into your love life here with your queen of swords in the upright, your energy is very strong here against someone, or something, I should say. But in the love, because the Ace of Cups is in reverse, you're in this energy like, don't come, if you come near me again, you don't, don't come ever come back in my life. It's kind of like that kind of masculine type. <clears throat> and it's okay. Male or female, it doesn't matter. But you're in this power position of, Someone who had done you wrong in the Ace of Cups that did not give you the opportunity. They may have been faking love with you, giving you false hope, future faking, 
um, they didn't give you the love that you had asked for, that you were searching for. And they came with this Ace of Cups, like out of the blue, it feels like, that they told you everything you wanted to hear. But there were some secrets here with the High Priestess in reverse. There was something in their energy that was not that was not going too well with understanding what this person was doing behind your back. Now, yesterday I said something about people cheating. Remember, it's a collective reading. And people says, oh, this is this. And this. You know what? It, if you don't like the reading, click off. Okay? And because it had something to do with narcissists and toxic people. So, only the toxic people. Yes, I have narcissistic people that comes here and attack my channel. That's the trolls. Um, because they don't like me telling the truth about what I'm seeing. And they don't believe in this anyway, but I do. So, the Ace of Swords is in reverse. This person could have had you trauma bonded where you did not see things. But then I get the feeling here that you, with that high priestess, you you were trying to, un is an unsettling kind of feeling inside you that you know something was not right with about. And so you're very defensive right here. Okay, so let's see what this energy is about for Scorpio. What is this energy for the... Ace of Cups, High Priestess in Reverse, and the Ace of Swords in Reverse. All reversals. And the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this, it could have been male or female, it doesn't matter. But you had enough of something here with the Queen of Wands. You said, I'm not tolerating this anymore. I'm not dealing with this. This person's never going to change. They're not going to come and do right. The hangman is in reverse. This hangman is not letting you go. They are in this mindset of, you know, still thinking about you, connecting that energy towards you, to try to trauma bond you a little bit more with the Eight of Swords, but you're not having it. The Queen of Swords is woken up. You have spiritually, I believe, woken. You have been awoken. Yeah, there's a nine of swords, eight of swords. See what my point? Ace of swords. You may um, didn't have clarity on a situation that, and this per this person has stressed you and brought a lot of drama to your life here. So let's see what that three of wands is talking about. I think here your this person could be from a distance from you. Could be in a foreign land. They're waiting for you, but I think you're saying goodbye to this person. Yeah, you're closing a chapter here with a world card. You're not dealing with cheating and lying and manipulation and, and deception here. They can't get over on you anymore, Scorpio. This person had you in your thinking that they were the perfect person for you in the beginning. But this person could have been... With someone else because the queen of wands is in reverse they weren't going to leave this queen of wands there wasn't going to be any change to that hmm interesting the full card the seven of swords you know you're not having no more bs right you're not you're closing out you walked away from this i do feel like here scorpio you might be taking a trip and you're going to try to rebuild your life here with a um, tower moment. Rebuild it emotionally. Not just financially, but emotionally. You are trying to look for new jobs, new opportunities, taking a trip, getting your energy back. Right? You're just bringing back that energy. Now you're starting to wake up where you don't care about this person as much as you used to. Because this person had a facade on you. And you just kind of snatched the mask off of them and realize who they are and you walked away from this and the full card you're just on your own you're like i'm going to do my way i'm going to do me i'm going to enjoy my life i'm going to nothing's going to stop me now you know like the song from the 80s nothing's going to stop us now but that's a love song <laughs> but in this case it's the full card and the tower here is for an opportunity for you to change something here scorpio for the full card, taking a risk on something. Where are you going? What are you going to do with this tower? 
Because you went through a lot of bad things with this person in the past. We know that. But let's see where that tower card is going to lead you. Where's this tower card going to lead Scorpio after this situation? This person could be receiving karma because it looks like things are turning with that Ace of Wands. Not a Pentacles. Mm. Now, you're live, going to try to live your best life here, right? Now, the energy's changed to this. You have suffered enough. You went through a lot of heartbreak. Now, you might be getting an apology from the person, or they might try to reach out to you, but it's going to be a while because they're very slow here with the Knight of Pentacles. That's why I said they might come back and just kind of offer you an apology. I think you have figured things out. The Wheel of Fortune here. Mm -hmm. Your money's going to look good here, Scorpio. You might be getting a new job. If you're looking for a new job um, with the Queen of Pentacles, you're going to be growing yourself. And I think here with the Wheel of Fortune is turning to the Queen of Pentacles, this new opportunity, taking a risk, is going to lead you into good places. You're going to have to think about it, though. You might have to change locations here. But let's see what the queen of, uh, that's not the top card. Show me the card. Yeah, there you go. So good things are coming. Your energy is going to rebuild here, Scorpio. Your money looks great. And this person that you left behind was your bad karma. That's what I hear. They were just bad for you. You thought this was your person to love and Ace of Cups. No, this is not your person. But the, because you left that person, that that energy behind to rebuild yourself, the universe is now saying they're going to take care of you. King of Swords, you're not taking this. You were you were karmic so much. You had the Queen of Swords up here, and the King of Swords that's not talking to you right now. Um, you walked away from this. Yes, you walked away from this because you had lost your peace of mind, your peace of harmony, your, your balance of your life, your focus. Everything was lost dealing with this person. Hmm. But you walked away from it because you need to re-energize re yourself here. You felt drained for sure. So this Queen of Swords, King of Swords, and I'm going to clarify their thinking, but not that we care too much about that. You're living, going in a great direction. You're spiritually woken. You may have went through a dark night of the soul to realize who this person really is. Who led you down a rabbit hole, gave you false hope, false promises, future faking. Now I'm picking up from the reading from yesterday. That's what I'm feeling. So, yeah, there's the Three of Pentacles. So let's, and there's that Emperor in Reverse that you kind of dumped or broke up with. There, there was, I just said, they're not your soulmate. And this card just wanted to come out. If you rewind the video, you will see this card was still in Reverse. And it's coming up again. Um, the Emperor you broke up with is not your soulmate. I think they were just out. They could have a Queen of Wands at home that they were not happy with. You know, and then you have here the Nine of Cups reverse. They made you miserable. They they were sucking your energy. Um, they could have just trying to control the situation, but you rejected this idea. Now you, I think you step into that Queen of Wands, I mean Queen of Swords energy, and you're like, no, I don't want to deal with you anymore. But I feel like this person had you in a third party or they could have been um you know keeping you behind the scenes you know you didn't realize a lot of things that was going on and the universe here with the high priestess uh was protecting you you know this person may have taken the person you may have been with for two years or uh six months or whatever the case may be but it's better spending 10 and 15 and 20 and 30 and 40 years with them so the God had taken this out of your life so you don't have to waste more of your precious time. So again, there's the Nine of Cups in reverse. For this Emperor, show me about the... They do want to talk to you, though. But you're going to probably say, stay away from me. 
Ace of Wands again in the upright. You're finding your passion again. You have you have a lot of Wands energy. You have the Ace. Well, you have the Ace of Swords for. Um, you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of. Well, you have the Ace of Wands twice right here, I believe. Yeah. So there's a burning desire here. And if something's going to change, your happiness is going to change very fast here. So if you've been down and lethargic and feeling tired, feeling sick, you might need to take care of yourself a little bit more. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah, you're not, this Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles uh, that we saw twice come in. You're going to stop that. You're not going to allow this person back that has hurt you, that has betrayed you, that has brought only suffering and drama to you. And there's the Ten of Cups. Because you want your own happiness. And there's the devil card. So let's see who's, who wants this devil card here. Now they could, again, they could have been toxic. Narcissistic. I think this person was trying to keep you as one of their supplies. They could have been married. Working, like you, while you're working, taking care of yourself. You were drawn to this energy that only brought you down. This is a spiritual awakening. And so your creativity is going to take off and your what your new opportunity is going to come. With the six of wands, you're going to be successful when you break free out of this cycle. There's your opportunity. All the aces are here. Yeah, you're going to choose yourself here. So, Scorpio, you have the ace of wands. So the end this what we go back up here about a great life here, you can have it all. Right? You have the six of wands to select, you know, be in the do what makes you happy. And a commitment here. You could be getting a new job, like I said, a promotion, new place to live. I mean that means a lot of different opportunities, maybe a new person. But here right now I see you oops, I see you being um, in your own thoughts and you're choosing yourself, which you should. So I see a new, whole new beginning here, Scorpio. And you're just leaving this devil energy that kind of took away your focus of what you wanted to do in life here. They drew you into their toxic world. Right? So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope that you enjoy the reading. I see beautiful things coming up for you right here. Uh, but you got to keep your positivity. you got to keep, just think about... You know, sometimes it is hard to forget the past because we got hurt and whatnot. But on the logical side of things, um, separating that is saying, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have a great life. We only get one life to live. Okay, there's 10, you know, 8 billion people in the world. Um, learn to master your calmness. I think you need to work on your emotions a little better. And think about your dreams. You deserve all your dreams to come true. Okay, we're not everybody... Gets one chance to live. And so go make, you know, do painting. Go take painting classes. Go take pickleball classes or go to the gym, work out. S inspire yourself to do higher and better things. This person that you were with were, was probably married or had a secret lover on the side. And they try to make you secret lover number two or number three. So the universe, I really believe, they took this away from you, out of your life, so you can grow and step on that person's back to get to higher levels for yourself. That that person who hurt you, that you know who I'm saying. I don't, you know who I'm talking about. But you got a lot of beautiful things coming, and you can have the world. Ten of Cups here. You're gonna say no to that that person when you're, you're gonna reject them. They know you probably will, and they know they did you wrong. So remember, uh, clean your heart, get some sage, white, light some white candles, write a note to yourself, forgive yourself for dealing with someone um, that was so cruel to you, that was really evil here in a toxic, devilish energy. They were not good for you. They only brought you miserable, and they made you miserable, and made you unhappy, and they drained your energy. But now I see you recharging. You're going to get everything you ever wanted, Scorpio. Believe in yourself. Keep reaching for the heights, okay? All right, if you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me in my email. That's in the description box. 
And to all the haters out there that's trolling me that are narcissistic, that likes to come to my channel, tell me what to do. Um, and I butt Scorpios. What they don't, the true blue, my eagle Scorpios and my phoenix Scorpios. You might have some Scorpio toxic ones out here. Don't get me wrong. It's like that in every zodiac. But people just write me emails and, you know, and sometimes it's just so beautiful. I want to say hi to Mark Wong um, that writes me some of the nicest email about his journey that since he's talked to me a couple years ago, how he's doing. I get emails from a lot of you about how I inspired you to do your life and to carry on and clean your heart and heal and make it the best life as possible. Go on to love someone else. Go have fun. Go have fun. Go have fun. Dance by yourself in the kitchen with your pajamas and a cup of coffee. And, you know, eat roasted marshmallows if you want to. But there's people even on my on YouTube that just wants to attack YouTube readers. Some are, you know, just want to come on here and ruin my day. But I don't like them, let them because... I have over 17,000 subscribers, hundred thousands of comments over my time, and believe it or not, people try to come here and tell me, you know, if you do this, you'll get more subscribers. I'm like, but I'm happy with my subscribers. If they subscribe, I'm happy they're here. They're here because they want to be here. I'm not here to be rich. I mean, would I, you know, I spend hours, an hour every day, I'm giving seven hours a day a week, I mean seven hours a week, to be here for my Scorpios. And I'm a Scorpio. So those people that comes on my channel automatically gets blocked. So I don't even know why they waste their time to say something because I don't understand. But what my point is to you good Scorpios, no matter where you go in this world, whether you know somebody or not, there's always going to be somebody that's just going to try to pull you down. And to make, Because they're miserable. They want you to be the same. So stay strong, Scorpio. Don't allow people to be that maggot that crawls in your brain to make you feel bad about yourself. No. You are Scorpio. Say it, Scorpio, in the comments. I am Scorpio, the strongest zodiac that has ever lived, the passionate and the most sexiest, I have to say. And you are very strong people. You've got beautiful hearts. And the evil people will come after you. So protect yourself. I love you Scorpios. My ego Scorpios and Phoenix Scorpios. You're going through a transition right now. And you're going to be do great things when that next door opens. Okay? That's what I feel for you Scorpio. So send in much love and light. So keep your spirit with beautiful gold, gold heart. And I'll see you on next reading. Take care. Bye bye.